The investigation by special counsel Robert Mueller into President Donald Trump, his organization, his White House, his administration, his close circle and his White House seems now like it has been going on for many lifetimes. It certainly feels like much longer than two years ago at this point that the Justice Department, specifically, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, found itself forced to commission the former director of the FBI to set up a probe to investigate the claims that the campaign to elect then-Republican candidate Donald Trump as President of the United States and leader of the free world during the 2016 presidential election colluded with Russian state actors in order to steal the result of the election and the White House from rival Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton and then committed obstruction of justice afterwards in a desperate attempt to cover it up. The latest significant development in this ongoing saga, which of course threatens the very fabric of democracy and the Constitution of the United States, was when former Trump attorney and close confidant Michael Cohen cooperated fully with the Mueller inquiry and delivered a blistering testimony, which was publicly broadcast, in which he attacked the president and the White House in every way imaginable and in the most brutal and merciless fashion possible. Since then, President Trump has been extremely distracted by all of this chaos and reportedly messed up several key aspects of a trade summit with China because he was so preoccupied with what his former lawyer was doing and saying in public to tarnish his name. Well, things just got even more horrid for him because his own son and senior advisor and close aide, Donald Trump Jr. has just publicly taken Cohen's sight against his father in a totally extraordinary move that no one say coming. The way he made the incredible public statement was by retweeting a tweet from Garrett M. Graff, a journalist reporting on the Cohen testimony, which suggested that Cohen was telling the truth. Incredible to see all the hubris drained from Cohen. I've been personally screamed at by Cohen on the phone before and know how much bravado he once had. This is a man with nothing left, with no reason to lie or obfuscate at all. Humbling, in its way. The retweet flies directly in the face of his own family and puts himself, Donald Trump, and the entire clan at risk, mainly Beck U.S. Jr.'s father has mad it so that Twitter musings and retweets can be used against you in any way conceivable in a courtroom. This is essentially a public admission. Iskville war has been raging in the White House for some time at this point, but as of yet has not split the Trump family. Could this finally be the end? Is this what we've all been waiting for? Is this even more damning than anything Mueller could possibly dig up? However it transpires, on my end, I truly hope so.